Welcome to the Royal Calcutta Turf Club for the Calcutta Races. First of the double header for the midweek meeting. The winter meeting, 6 day Wednesday, 31st of January 2024. The first race of the afternoon is the Reeton Asset Handicap, a no whip affair to be run over a distance of 1400 meters for horses in uh, class 3. The first couple of runners we are looking at is number 1, Mandolin, who was a very impressive winner of race number 70. Mandolin went over 1400 meters, was on a start to finish mission, and what a ride that was by Nick and Naidu, made every post a winning one. The other runner in that race was 10. 10 was in second spot. Chase, the winner, was hanging in for a while. 10, and eventually all it could do was finish on second to Mandolin. Next runner we're looking at is Horus the Great. The Mount of Afzal Khan, Horus the Great, has had a couple of starts. Last start after the race, it was observed that Horus the Great was uh, trotting lame. In race number 53, was 7th spot at the end of the home straight, eventually stalled the field home and finished on 7th. The winner here was Black Coffee. Horus the Great has finished on 2nd in an earlier start behind Burmese over 1200 meters. Third runner we're looking at is Tusa, Bombay Import. Couple of starts before finally coming good in race number 67, where Tusa was uh, ridden in a check in third spot at the end of the home street as Tuso entered the home street uh, was given the cue and uh, went away from them and won that race by almost four and a quarter lengths beating Magnite in second number five is east side and the ultra consistent east side this eight year old air Last start went over 1200 meters, took the turn in 7th spot, came up and uh, eventually finished wide of the track and finished on 4th. The winner here was Hall of Grace, who made every poster winning one, eventually spared about 5 lengths from the winner from the second horse and uh, each side finished on 4th, about uh, 11 lengths from the winner. Number 6 is Superstellar. Couple of starts for Superstellar after coming from Hyderabad, first up in race number 49. Finished on 4 to Amber Knight over 1600 meters. Last start was over 1200 meters in race number 54. Took the turn in 6th spot, made up a placing, and eventually finished on 5th of 7 runners. The winner here was Power of Thea, who held on narrowly. Number 7 is UV, another horse which has been uh, very consistent. Well, winner in race number 33, which was a penultimate start for UV. Last start was over 1100 meters in race number 64, where it took the turn in fifth spot, came out and towards the inside and finished on third. And uh, it was noted after the race that UV was trotting lame. Moving on to the second race of the afternoon, the Arabian Prince Handicap for horses rated 41 to 66, rated 21 to 46, eligible in class 3 to be run over a distance of 1100 meters. The first one I'll be looking at is Fort Nelson. Fort Nelson came down from Bangalore after a win in the first started ad in the Calcutta season and what a start it was. Took the turn in second spot, then took charge into the last 300 meters and absolutely blew the field away. Won that race by four and a half lengths. Number two is Maktub. Maktub has had quite a few starts, couple of eye-catching starts in race number 40, finished on second over 1600 meters to Parker. Race number 49, finished on second to Amber Knight. Last start was over 1400 meters. Race number 53, where it took the turn in the third spot, then weekend and eventually finished on fifth of seven runners. The winner here was Black Coffee. Couple of runners, number 3 Archway, number 6 All Time Legend, this was from race number 81, where Archway took the turn in 4th spot, gradually made some improvement and eventually finished on In The Money in 3rd. The other runner, All Time Legend, who travelled a little wide throughout, took the turn in 6th spot, made up 1 placing and eventually finished on 5th. The winner here was Hall of Grace. Number 4 is Star Justice, a start for Star Justice in the season in race number 6 where it took the turn in 4th spot. This was over 1100 meters and gradually improved places down the center and eventually finished on 2nd. The winner here was Kalahari Gold who won that race by almost 2.5 lengths. Number 7 is Power of Thea. This was in race number 
54 and number 5 is Bundle of Charm. Both ran together. This uh, Bundle of Charm took the turn in second spot, then started to gradually drop back and eventually finished on sixth of seven runners. Power of Thea went on a start to finish mission and eventually had about a neck to spare to good tip at the post. Number 8 is Indian Tiger. Indian Tiger, this was in race number 83, where Indian Tiger was leading the pack into the last 200 meters. Then there was a late surge by Swift Lady, and Indian Tiger finally staved off the late challenge and eventually finished on second. The winner was Swift Lady, who had about four lengths to spare at the winning post. We move on to the third race of the year from the Akalia Handicap for us. It rated 21 to 46, rated 1 to 26, eligible to be run over a distance of 1600 meters. First runner we are looking at is Tiger Shark. Tiger Shark has uh, mostly travelled over 1600 and above in the four starts uh, he has had. In race number 15, finished on third to Whistleblower. In race number 43, finished on second to Amber Knight over 2000 meters. Last start was over 1600 meters where took the turn in third spot then came up with a run and eventually finished on second and the winner here was Vinino. Couple of runners we are looking at. This is from race number 67 MSG Fantasy and uh, Super Akiga. MSG Fantasy took the turn in seventh spot did not make any further improvement eventually finished on seventh of nine runners. Super Akiga took the turn in fourth spot. And even though the jockey's best efforts, all it could do was finish on fourth. Number four is Lucky Nine was winner in earlier start in race number 50, where Lucky Nine went over 2,000 meters, made every post a winning one. Last start was again over 2,000 meters here. Lucky Nine was in second spot as they entered the home straight when asked for an effort. Lucky Nine really started to drop back, back paddle and eventually finished on last of six runners. The winner was wonderful who won that race by almost length and three quarters. Hello runners, this is from race number 79, Made in Heaven and uh, Tiger Blood. Made in Heaven took the turn in last spot, stayed on in last. Tiger Blood, who was in fourth spot, despite the jockey's best effort, did not really get into the fray, finished on second last. The winner here was Tez, who practically made every post a winning one. Number 6 is Sienna, who's out of Nathaniel, out of Carved Emerald. One start after coming down from Western India, that was in race number 39. Took the turn in 5th spot, then started to warm up late in the day and finished on 2nd, almost 4 lengths behind the winner. Next up we got number 7, Nod. Nod has had a couple of stars, started the season with a win in race number 19 where got the measure of Ganadora. Last start was over 2000 meters where Nod was in third spot as they entered the home straight then came up with a run down the center. Where all it could do was finish on second. The winner was Lucky 9 who went on a start to finish mission and held on readily. Number 8 is Primo Victoria. A couple of stars for Primo Victoria both on board. First up in race number 25, finished on third to tender hard over 1100 meters. Last start was over 1200 meters. This was in race number 59. Took the turn in fourth spot, then gradually made improvement and eventually came out and finished on second to Speculator, who had about three lengths to spare. Number 9, Born to be Spoiled. After coming from southern India, one start over here was a little slow out of the gates. Took the turn in last spot and eventually came out and finished on fifth. The winner here was I Smell the Danger, who won that race by almost length and three quarters.
We move on to the fourth race of the year. After the Star Superior Cup for horses rated 81 and above, rated 61 to 86 eligible to be run over a distance of 1600 meters. We got five runners lining up for this one. The first runner is Tegrio, who's uh, had a couple of wins already in the season. First up in race number 17, won over 1600 meters, beating Malwa. Next up, won in race number 23, beating Summer Knight over 1400 meters. Last start was over 1400 meters in race number 46. Took the turn in fourth spot, then came into the picture late in the scene and eventually finished on third. The winner here was Snowfall, who won that race by a head. Next up, we got two runners. Number two, Vijaya Falcon. Number three, True Marshall. This was from race number 62, where Vijaya Falcon uh, trailed the field, finished on eventually sixth of eight runners after taking the turn in seventh spot. Number three, True Marshall, who took the turn in sixth spot, made some late gains down the center and eventually came out and finished on fourth, almost five lengths from the winner, which was Cool Rider. Number four is Destroyer. Destroyer, our guinea winner, where he beat Hornbill, won the Monsoon Derby. The run we are looking at is from the Calcutta Derby, where Destroyer went on a start to finish mission, but perhaps this was a little bridged a little too far for Destroyer. Eventually finished on third. The winner here was Long Lease, and Destroyer today ran by Essa Klein. Number five is White Roses, a uh, hat tricker. White Roses already three wins out of three starts. First up in race number nine, beat Tucson, who has subsequently won. Race number 22, over 1400 meters, beat Dragon's Gold. Last start in race number 56, went over 1600 meters, and when asked by the jockey, absolutely skated away from the field, won that race by five lengths. We move on to the fifth and feature race of the year afternoon. The A, B and M Indian Champions takes grade 3 for horses 3 year old only to be run over a distance of 1400 meters. First up we got couple of runners from race number 75. The winner was Global Influence. This was Global Influence's second start. Went on a start to finish mission and never looked back. Won the race as he likes. The other runner was number 5, Champion Supernova, who took the turn in second spot and all it could do was cut down the margin but still finished on second. Three runners from race number 55, Lady Sunshine, Sir Sir a lot of Sunshine Girl, went on a start to finish mission and eventually had about two lengths to spare. The winning post won that race. Beating Snow Leopard. Snow Leopard earlier won in race number 31, where beat Natural Grace. And uh, next start finished on second. And the other runner was Aeropoli. Aeropoli took the turn in fourth spot. Eventually came on and finished on third, way back in the rear. Number 6 is the present multitude out of Southern Fantasy. Couple of starts for the presence. First up in race number 31, finished on 4 to Snow Leopard. Last start was a little slow out of the gaze. This was in race number 38, where it went over 1200 meters. Eventually, we landed up on the wide out, out of track and finished on 4th. The winner here was Natural Grace, who had about 3 and a quarter lengths to spare at the winning post. So that's your lineup for the A, B, and M Indian Champion Stakes Grade 3. We move on to the 6th and last race of the day, the Republic Cup for horses rated 61 to 86, rated 41 to 66, eligible to be run over a distance of 1200 meters. First up, we got quite a few runners which raced against each other. In race number 66, we had Hidden Gold, took the turn in second spot, eventually weakened and finished on 4th. Uh, we had Eternal Princess who was in 4th uh, spot at the end of the home straight, weakened further and eventually finished on 6th. We had number 8 which was uh, racing in the mid pack as they entered the home straight that was multi star and eventually dropped back and finished on last. Number 9 was K Star. K Star took the turn in fifth spot, made some late gains and eventually finished on second. And the other runner was Mescal. Mescal took the turn in seventh spot, made some improvement towards the inside and eventually finished on fifth. The winner here was Dr. Doom who won that race by almost two lengths. Number two is Rodrigo, was the winner of a couple of stars already in the season. First up in race number 13, one beating La Dominate over 1100 meters in last start. Rodrigo went on a start to finish mission and staved out the late challenge of Dr. Doom, who has subsequently won.
Number 4, 1000 words. 1000 words was a winner in uh, only start. Uh, he had in uh, race number 30 in the monsoon season. This season, 1000 words went on a start to finish mission in race number 27 over 1100 meters when ran out of gas into the home street and eventually fell back and finished on 6th of 11 runners. The winner here was Itosha, who won that race by almost 4 lengths. Number 5 is Black Eagle. Black Eagle came down from southern India. And what a start that was for Black Eagle in race number 64. Took the turn in 6th spot and when asked for an effort, absolutely sliced the field through and took charge into the last 200 meters and won that race by 2.5 lengths beating the hat-trick seeking Jamaica. Number 6 is Clifford. Clifford has uh, had 3 starts so far. First up in race number 4, finished on 2nd to Meropi. Then in race number 34, beat Jollofit and won the race over 1400 meters. Last start was in race number 45. I took the turn in fourth spot, then chased the winner harvest time all the way to the winning post and uh, got beaten by almost two and a quarter lengths. Number 10 is Clever Hans and four starts for Clever Hans so far in this season. Couple of efforts where finished on third. That was in race number 45 and the last start in race number 74. Took the turn in fifth spot, made some lead gains and eventually came out and finished on third. The winner here was Harvest Time. Thank you ladies and gentlemen, that's your lineup for the day.